Hello, everyone. My name is Ming Xuanzun from Baidu. Uh, on behalf of the TClip community, uh, today we will talk about our open source universal secure computing platform, TClip. Okay, uh, so uh, I haven't received any feedback about my uh, uh, mic. So I assume it's good. Okay, let's get started. I'll start uh, with background and then briefly introduce current status and some highlight of the DCLA project. Then I will provide some details of the DCLA internals. And last, I will talk about the uh, uh, how to get involved and uh, present the uh, TCLAB community uh, to you all. Uh, let me start with some background. Um, secure computing, or so-called confidential computing, is to provide a safe uh, place, or we call it enclave, for data computing, for sensitive data computing, computation. So normally this involve uh, multi parties or sometimes single parties, but there are several scenarios. For example, private computation like private set intersection between different parties and the private machine learning, uh, multiple parties like banks, they want to change some model with their own uh, private data. And normally this, uh, uh, secure computing and enclave or places uh, is uh, supported or powered by some hardware-based isolation mechanism. Uh, for example, uh, they sometimes they have memory uh, encryption, uh, isolation, and attestation mechanism. So, for example, uh, Intel provide uh, Intel SGX and ARM has just so. Normally, this uh, technology will split the uh, world to separate part or split the uh, application into two, se two separate uh, part. Uh, why is in, on the left side is untrusted or uh, normal world? This means uh, this application is running on uh, uh, operating system and which can be compromised. And uh, then another part is so-called uh, enclave, uh, which will be run in an isolated and uh, encrypted uh, uh, world, which is called trusted world or secure world. So under this uh, uh, threat model, the operating system can be compromised, but the data and the uh, data and the logic will be not leaked from the trusted and secure world. So particularly, we um, provide this uh, secure computing uh, mechanism by uh, Intel SGX. So when we look at the SGX ecosystem, we can use SGX SDK to build a CSS application or split a legacy application into apps, app and enclave parts for SGX enclave. Uh, environment, or uh, we can deploy a legacy app in containerized SDX environment based on libOS and unikernel concept. However, there are several, there are a lot of effort for program to develop an um, SDX application. Uh, for example, developers need to know how to seal data, how to do remote testation in the right way and how to design all costs without leaking sensitive data inside Enclave. So, uh, so let's come to our solution. We need a framework or platform that allow programmers to concentrate on the business logic and automate more protection of their code and data without worrying about techno uh, technical details. 
of SCS development model and different implementations. Programmers are users who need to focus on sensitive data, business logic, and the interface between user and platform. Then the platform will manage data execution business logic in TE computing units deployed as a like distributed system. This is the main motivation of creating the TPLA uh, project. So uh, let's, com let's come to the TPLA project. Currently, TPLA or Apache TPLA is an open source universal secure computing project uh, platform which uh, make computation on privacy sensitive data safe and simple. The project is originally developed at Baidu as known as Master T and then open sourced in July 2019. Then we donated the MSD project along with Rust SCS SDK to Apache Software Foundation in August 2019 and changed the project name to TKLAV. Currently, TKLAV is under the Apache incubator and open source uh, in the Apache way. Okay, uh, let me go through some uh, highlights of First, uh, functionality. TKA provides as a function as a service platform, uh, which means we have many building functions support like uh, machine learning, privacy and section, crypto computation, and so on and so forth. In addition, a uh, developer can also de uh, deploy and execute Python script uh, in TKA. So more importantly, like unlike a traditional uh, FAS, Platform, TKLAV supports both general secure computing tasks and the flexible single and multi party secure computation. So for security, TKLAV adopts uh, multiple security technologies to enable secure computing. In particular, uh, TKLAV uses Intel SGX to serve the most sensitive uh, task, security sensitive tasks with hardware based isolation memory encryption, and attestation. Uh, also, TKLAV is written in Rust to prevent memory safety issues. Uh, so for usability, TKLAV builds its components in containers, and therefore it's, uh, it supports deployment both locally and within cloud infrastructure. The TKLAV also provides convenient uh, endpoint APIs, client SDKs, and command line tools. So, uh, so last, uh, the modularity, which a lot of people uh, lack uh, TKLAV. The components in TKLAV are designed in modular, and uh, some components like remote testation can be easily embedded in other projects. So TKLAV, as two examples, TKLAV SCX SDK can also be used separately to write standalone SCX enclave for other purposes. So next, let me, let's talk about the basic flow in TKLAV platform. So let's see the workflow. Since TKLAV is a function as a service-like platform, uh, users only need to consider uh, about the functions, uh, business logic, and uh, participants, or how many parties involved in this task. So when a client or user have determined about uh, about their these three uh, uh, factors, function, data, and uh, participant, he can follow some uh, these steps to execute a task on sensitive data in SDX with the help of the TKLAV platform. The first uh, is to register the data and the function to the platform and then uh, create and run tasks. Last, you can wait and uh, until the execution result from the platform. See, that's very simple and powerful. And all your data and function uh, is only in the uh, SGX protected, isolated uh, enclave. Okay, uh, you may be wondering about the internals of the TKLA platform. So here are some here's an overview of our uh, uh, services, all services in TKLAV. You can see that there are several kinds of 
uh, seven kinds of service and connected with each other. So they are uh, authenticate service, front-end service, management service, uh, storage service, scheduler service, access control service, and the execution service. So they uh, you can you can see uh, internally they are internal API uh, endpoint connections with uh, uh, tested TRS connection and then provides API endpoint connection to the client. So uh, currently our services are implemented in SDX Enclave and uh, later we have plan in our road bike to uh, Port this uh, service in other uh, as the TE backend, TE implementation backend, uh, such as ARM um, just so. So, uh, yeah, in this graph, you can see the authentication and the front end service are in the front end domain. Uh, for core services domain, we have storage service, management service, asset control service, and scheduler service. Uh, last, we have execution service uh, to execute the uh, task uh, on system data. Let me introduce them uh, one by one. Uh, for as for authentication service, it it implements a JSON Web Token authentication uh, uh, in the SGX uh, enclave uh, for re reference implementation. For a uh, front end service, it helps to authenticate request forward to management service and can provide the potential uh, load balancing future. Management service will manage function data registration, task improve, uh, proof, uh, invocation, access control, data persistency, and so on. Storage service implements uh, actually a level DB in SDX. Access control service implements an access control engine uh, using uh, Python like the domain specific language. Uh, the scheduler service uh, dispatch uh, the state, the task to uh, the desired worker uh, with uh, capabilities like uh, some worker can only execute some sensitive uh, data for machine learning only and some uh, Executor may have different capabilities. So at last, the execution service is a, a stateless uh, service designed to be deployed uh, in cloud infrastructure uh, and flexible. It can support all kinds of SDX runtime and other TE. Uh, so these services uh, are communicated with RPC and some here are some interfaces defined uh, in protobuf. I'll skip the these details here, and and you can find them on our source code in the proto uh, definition. So basically, our clients authenticate their ID credential to get a session key. This session key will be used later to communicate with uh, the front end service. Then uh, client then register data and function if you need it and assign approved invoke task. And then client can also get information of uh, functions, tasks, and so on. Front end service will redirect valid requests to the management service, get uh, authentication of uh, data function usage, task invocation, and, and so on. Uh, story service can process and function data packs into database. Uh, scheduler, scheduler service uh, name is can fetch uh, task and the ready for execution from a database. And then uh, it will give this uh, function which need to be executed to the executor. And uh, we implement a uh, subscribe and uh, uh, pull task uh, model and uh, the execution service will uh, subscribe and pull test the executor function update status and give the execution result back to the scheduler service and uh, store in the storage service. So if you are interested in reading code, uh, there, there's, a, there's an overview of services and the corresponding implementations 
in the uh, fully uh, database uh, code base uh, overview. Uh, for this project, uh, we have about uh, uh, 40,000 lines of Rust code, and uh, they have they are implemented in a separate uh, separate grids, uh, which is a uh, library in Rust, like RPC uh, for procedure uh, uh, remote procedure call in the service, some service implementation, which I mentioned above, uh, is in the services directory. Uh, function implementation uh, under this worker uh, app and the uh, unclaimed communication mechanism is implemented in a binder uh, library. And service, per, uh, and service proto definitions in the service uh, proto directory. And attestation, uh, which is uh, one of the most important uh, library in the uh, whole uh, platform, is separated in a different directory, uh, the attestation directory uh, RPC, uh, which support uh, attested TIS, and uh, DCAP, uh, which is uh, um, uh, another attestation mechanism, uh, which can be deployed inside a data center. And build a runtime configuration is in the config uh, directory. And for others, we have uh, a lot of crates like tabs and tests, integration tests, unit tests, and uh, functional tests. Um, SDK, uh, we provide a Python SDK to the client so that the client can only uh, care about the uh, Python. SDK to interact with our platform. Uh, utilities, and uh, we provide several Docker files for building and the deployment of Keyclave. And CLI, uh, we have some uh, command line to obtain uh, encrypt and decrypt data and uh, communicate with the Keyclave platform, and then uh, uh, do the attestation on your uh, on your platform and verify if your platform is a uh, test uh, is a uh, 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 valid uh, platform, and then crypto and the two third parties license docs keys. Uh, we actually provide uh, extensive uh, documents, and uh, if you want to get started, uh, you can uh, get from the try from my first function, uh, write functions in Python and uh, how to add building functions. And if, if you want to understand the design of the clip, you can uh, read the thread model, uh, mutual test station, by how uh, access control, uh, build system, T-Clave service tunnels. And then if you want to contribute to the uh, project, uh, you can read the Rust develop guideline, development uh, tips, and all the documentation can be found in the ticket.apache.org slash docs. So uh, at last, let me give an overview of the ticket community. Uh, this ticket is a huge project which has multiple layers. Many users can get involved in this uh, community. Uh, for example, a platform user can use ticket platform directly deploy the system in their private infrastructure or uh, the public infrastructure. Uh, some users uh, may prefer to only use one st standalone service, for example, uh, use our uh, storage service and execution service itself without uh, include all the component in the TCLAV uh, uh, platform. And some uh, also, a lot of products are, use, uh, are using our attestation implementation uh, library. And of course, some users directly use our Rust SCX SDK uh, in the lower layer to build their own application. The TKLA community have already supported many projects like commercial products, uh, academic research project and some other open source project. Uh, you can uh, find them uh, in our homepage, tclave.apache.org. 
uh, slash community. So in our community home page, uh, you can see that organizations like Baidu, Bidens, Enigma, DRX, projects like uh, Advanca, Anonify, uh, Enigma, Cryptocom, Chain, Oclom, Pala Network, uh, Secret Network, Subtract E, they all use c as a, the platform and the library of the Rust as CSSDK. So overall, uh, we encourage our people uh, in the uh, uh, community to come and get involved in order to use this uh, project or contribute to our project. Okay, so at last, I still want to put some uh, information on the TK project. So you can join us on the uh, mailing list and visit our homepage, follow on the Twitter, uh, which we will regularly uh, post some uh, update on the project and check out and read off code. And we always call for uh, collaborations and the contributors. Okay, thank you all. I think if you have any questions, uh, you can uh, put on the uh, chat of this session. I will answer uh, now. If not, uh, I will end this session. Okay, same side, there's no question. So uh, you can ask me offline uh, in the direct message, or you can uh, send me an email or send to the bar list. We, I'm happy to answer all questions about this project. Okay, thank you so much. Bye.